Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you Maggie's gear. Um, there's going to be a couple of Tommy's gear as well in here, but there's more going to be Maggie's. I got a lot of requests. Um, gear since she's got a bunch of extra some brand new gear because she's a girl in a lot of things. But I figured you might want to want to see it. Um, so let's get into it. It may be a very long video due to the fact that I have a lot of gear. Um, so very first thing I'm going to start off with is mainly hatchet. Uh, I have a lot of them, so a lot of them are going to be so blind my gear. So we will be seeing a couple of these ones. So I'm grabbing everything because if I did not really prepare, I just won't have to do this. So, yeah. So I'm getting all of them. Here, I will have to start off for them, see what they have. Because I have like presets here, like sets right now that I have to help for a couple of things. Start off with the basics, um, which are on the leashes. So, this is a teal truck lead. Um, I don't really use a lot because one, I don't really use leashes a lot anymore um, due to her tasks and commands. Um, but I do have leashes. So this is a teal track lead that was made for my cousin. I have a whole bunch of balls for this thing. as well um, throughout this area because it's like a box. Um, so this is a paracord collar that's made by one of my other cousins. Then I have Maggie's cone collar. It's when she would got the spade. I have my all time favorite everyday leash if the like walks and stuff. Maggie's currently wearing her easy walk harness um that she uses. But this is basically a guide dog surf soft leash. All different guide dogs are blind because I whisper to them and what they do. But yeah. Because it's two settings and set multiple. And that's also a lot of leash.
Becky. Come here. Come. Good girl. We gotta let them out. You're gonna have to watch them. Okay. Because uh, I don't know which one done it. I let them out and then went to smoke a cigarette. When I went back, they had that gate half open. Okay. And Maggie come running back in and Dick is standing there looking at me. Thank goodness I caught it just in time, but we're just going to be careful. Okay. Hi, <clears throat> Falls for Life. So this is Maggie's. Um, easy little harness. It's a size large. I use it for like off duty, but also if I ever wanted to have a leash on her, I can put this on. I do have two prongs, and both of them are from Springer. One of them is technically a smaller one. Um, oh, no. I use like half of them in case oh. I need an extra length or anything. So <laughs> I have that. I have two of them. Both of them are 3.0 prongs. This one's just a lot bigger. And this is her actual prong that we use on those days that I feel like I can use a leash. I have a bow thing pull strap. I have the pull strap up is made by Horn and Scott Skull Gear, the bio thing one. I have a bio thing trap leap that I left at my cousin's house and she now has it because I moved out and I haven't received it. I haven't received it in my campaign, so I'm really upset that I don't have because it was a lot of money for both. But I'm re I still I like to use this one, even though I don't have track lead. Um, but it's still a good pull strap. I don't really use pull straps that often, <coughs> but I still use them. <coughs> because I get a bit of feedback from like guy tangles. This is another one. Um, this one is like a tie, um, a rope maybe, or a fleece or something, but it's very soft. It was a gift um, to me by my one cousin who he heard all of them, didn't use it. And she never really wanted it, so she gave it to me. I then have this. Um, I think it's like a six foot leash with a handle leash. Um, it's a really good leash. I use it for like Christmas mainly. I have this TSA approved black leash that my cousin made me. It's also got a matching collar, a matching harness, and handle. Um, I did a TSA approved because I was flying my boyfriend's and I wanted a set that was TSA approved so I wouldn't have no problems going through. I know it's not in some like you have to take your gear and stuff, but it really helped me out. So I have that. And this is the collar. It does not have a D ring on it, which is fine by me. I asked for it that way. And this is currently Maggie's everyday collar because my boy's home. He's in the um, I have this one. This got one. This one has a floating D ring. This one's made by my cousin and I used to live with, but I don't really use it because of the clip. It kind of hurts my joints. But I still need to have it in case of emergency. I have Maggie's seatbelt. Um, this one's just the Petco brand. I have 
Alright, so this is all the issue I'm going for. He hasn't liked it. Okay, give me the money to send it. So I still have this leash. Um, I have this one that's made by my cousin as well. He's got a D ring right here. Once again, I don't really use leashes. I have a service dog leash. I got it off Chewy a long time ago. I do have Maggie's mini educator. This is our everyday thing that we use. It's called charging. I have this is definitely a guide tangible. Um TS TSA, it's plastic, but I don't really trust it because of this one very loose compared to this one. Not like that, but it's hurt my feet. So it's a little bit more harder for this. Meg Shaggy does have a head collar. Um this one is just like a back of one I but I have this. This one I have to technically make it a little bit smaller due to this being too long because it gives me a turn. But I do have it. Um, this is a collar that I actually made for my sister in law's dog. And I actually have to pick it up because it broke the clip, but it's fine. This has got a, a floating D ring on it. It's just for tags. But I gotta fix it. It's like one of my first colors. Um. Maggie does have a muzzle. She is muzzle trained. Um, she has this one that I'm actually selling, but she has also a basket muzzle that was given to me. I currently do not know what this is, but I also use it because Maggie's kind of scared of Dremel and Dijor Pest. Um, oh, we're not doing that. So I use it. That me, she's not aggressive. She's just scared part of it. Which we're overcoming. I have her first collar. The collar I actually came she came with when I first got her. I never got rid of it. It's a memory of hey, you just got her. And it's something that she can use on those days where, like her her day that I got her, she would be wearing. She wears it, so something memorable. And she it is leather. So, this is a a collar that matches that. It's a Christmas leash, so that's that collar. I have an extra. Um, e collar, collar, um, replacement collar, and black. I have a biothane collar that's a little bit too big for Maggie, but I still wear. She still has one. Um, she don't really slip out collars. I have this. This is an track bleed. Maggie does have three church chains. Um, one of them is this. I think it's this one. Um, that's too small that I am willing to donate to a team. The other two, I'm not going to get rid of. Um, because it's not really needed. But this is the one that's actually being donated to a team. I'm looking for a team that's in need. Thank <laughs> you.
Maggie does have a camo collar. It's two inch. It's not something make makes her look mean or anything. I just like Yes. Probably probably the SD group. Sorry. Give me one moment. But um she does have this collar. Um, she has a smaller traffic lead. She has a Velcro collar. Um, this is by All Access Canine. I love it. I've used it a couple times, but not by itself. But I do have. I also made this one. This one has a patch sewn on to it. It says all acts is required by law, no exceptions. It's just an elastic collar because that's all I had. Um, and I had that deep time tri glide. But I can also put her tag on it. But yeah. This one. Collar second for my cat, um, but it's still part of the gear that I have. I also have my cat Thomas. Um, I only use open up product on my cat because he is he's out of cat products. So he has them. And this is just the same thing as the last I call it that I made. This is a tra traffic lead that's just really like real quick um, that I can use. It's not really like made for pulling or anything due to that clip, but it's simple. I have this as well. This little work track, like five inches. Okay. Have a bio thing called track lead. I love this one, yes. Um, I have a teal marking chain on gill. I don't use it that much. Do too. <coughs> the chain being like very small. But when I do, I do. And I also do have my cats. Um, technically my dog, Maggie's, um, back to my collar. But those are all her dishes and collars. She bought them and then she sent them back to me. So, all right, for handles. I'm going to show you handles with nails, like natural branch handles, and CB handles. Um, so in total, I have a set. I have a lot of stuff, but mainly a, a lot of them are for like flag things. Um, 
So like, this is my guide hand tool, and this is my CB hand tool, my Beck and Raven harness. Um, both of them, I love Beck and Raven. I recommend very much. Um, this is not a 12 inch off guide handle. No casers and that dog gear. Love it very much. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, like with one of my harnesses, I can't really use it because it's too short. But that is, I wasn't expecting to get short. This is the pair cord or the guide, guide handle. I just got padding. It's made by one of my cousins that made the same set. You will see the harness in the future. It is going to get fixed in the harness actually because the harness shoulders are a little bit too big, but that is on my parts in the purse. This is another uh, um, see, guide handle. Um, this one is made by Culture Boutique on Etsy, my first time ordering on Etsy, so, and it is TSA approved, so it's an army camo with service lock, I love the colors, I have a 19 inch guide handle, that's a little bit too long, but I still have it, and last one, guide handle is I push forward to the Love it. We'll always get rich work no matter what. Rich work will be my shirt. Alright. One, two, three. I have two tree couches. Um, because I thought I lost one, which is my favorite, which is this one right here. But after I found, I received my other one, I found this one. So I now have two and I'm not complaining. So this is still my old time favorite. It's got a uh, teal PTSD pattern stamp on it. And boot packs. This is another one. Uh, this black pet on there. This has Maggie's tags. And my egg pen and most of the treats. Um, I made a handler ID for her in case of emergency. So, and if she's by herself, people know what I look like and what to look for. So not an ID or anything like that. Although I do have one in case of emergencies. So people know, hey, I have some. I don't want to say this. And it's on me. Not for Apple, like to get access issues, like the grant access. I also got an LED light, service log tag, her microchip number, which I'm not going to show, her um, lower tag, and, and her rates. And it's all transferred to another. I have a lot of water bowl, came with a tree pouch, what it was granted. Um, my name is next. I have a couple of items, I think. Um, all of them are mainly flag themed. I have this one that my cat used recently. I have this one. This one even goes with the set by Culture Boutiques again. And I, I said on the surface, so do not pet patch. And this one's my dad's. Be free, guys. Alright, time to let's see. Oh, I also have this one. That's one. On 
into seasonal things. My cat PJs, my Sarasota PJs, my Sarasota sweater, her coat. Um, she has a nice sweater as well. It's, it's like a little seasonal. And then my cat also has this that was recently given. Well, I'm going to do keeps first. I don't have that much. If any, actually. Uh -huh. I got to find one of them. So, I have this one that's made by my cousin um, in Florida. She's the one that also made the TSA. This whole entire thing is a pocket at the time, but it still kind of is. I've sewn this part down a little bit and left this side open a little bit. It's a flag. It's not really TSA approved, which is fine because she couldn't find five. I'm not going to worry about it. I love how much Velcro I have because she knows I love Velcro. Um, and this is my other cape. Um, this was made by my cousin, Angela, the one I used to live with, but I'm going to be fixing it. So I don't really like the Velcro on it. So, I'm going to try to fix it and put bigger velcro on it. It's army themed. Um, and then this one I need um, technically to sell to someone, but they still have not paid me yet for it. So... I've been using it to see if I really like the style on Maggie. And I was surprised that it kind of fits Maggie a little bit. The only thing is I made it to fit a Bridgeport guide harness, like standard harness, and I only have one standard. And that's my Bridgeport guide. Um, the is a little bit off, but it's fine. I'm just starting out, so you're not going to be perfect. I still have this. Just made it. This one though. Um, I do have my bridge ports chest plate. Don't have to use it. The other tape I have is Maggie Service Loving for anyone. This is something I use on those days that Maggie is learning from me. Like tomorrow, well, Saturday, we're going to the cram. So I'm going to label her as in training. So she she makes mistakes. She knows what people know, okay? She's new. She's learning. Oh, another color I have is like this. Oh, right here. I just have to. Maybe also just have another coffee level. There's a lot of hair. Work with bag. Maggie does have shoes. Um, I can only find a couple of them. 
but these are my all-time go-to right now. I do have ruffler and some rubber boots. The rubber ones are for right. Alright, I do have Maggie's cooling coat. Um, I'm going to be trying to get her a brush for one, but for right now, this is what I'm using. Alright, for winter, um, this is Maggie's winter vest. It's just a basic vest that I like for bad some professional. Um simply natural. I double mm -hmm. like my cousin bought the wrong one when we did trade, which was on accident. So I did get him to make this one to fit Maggie. Because the panel works. This don't this also works perfect as a cook. Um, Maggie's, um, supper pack for like practical food. Maggie and Thomas shampoo. Um, Maggie has <laughs> this vest. It's not adjustable. This part is, but this isn't. And on it, it says the soft milk fighter. The Velcro is actually hot glued on. Um, that's what my cousin used to do. But then I sewed this Velcro down. And I sewed that one. But when she made it, she made it up to like accidentally too big. So I made it smaller recently. And I put some flannel under it. So yeah. This is Maggie's like summer best. Um, I'm going to do this at first. This is my first attempt at making a vest. Again, this is not adjustable. Well, the chat. It's all adjustable, but it's all plastic. Um, so I'm going to start out with... First pass. Yeah, well. You'll be called. Have fun! See ya! Hey, Star Wars. I did say see ya. It's also very lightweight. Um, Maggie has a rubber harness. It has medical words. Like, um, Emergency and new on sign, emergency epi pen on sign, and post. And everything on the top is poker. That my cousins are not. Yes. It's also very short. Maggie has basic all mesh vest. It's got working dog do not pet on both sides and serves stuff with the German shepherd. So like this some brand is after dogs. I it can fit Maggie for a little bit. I've used it. Maggie does stay cool. I can tell. Because the whole thing hangs mesh. And I do love it. I'm currently getting all Maggie's summer gear out. So 
because it's really hot for it. Um, this is another mesh vest. This has some solid training, some one. I have a patch right here, like that for right here. It's just a basic, like, registry vest. I don't know the name of like, eBay. And I'm like, yeah, let me get it off there. So, I sew it on service law for a spoonie. I give her spoons she needs. And a service law. Such yeah. a good vest. I loved using this on vacation. Um, Maggie has a Pinot vest. Um, with a working leash wrap. I have two of these. Got that the other one. But this one has pockets. Um, I love this. It says on the side, on both sides, mock the purpose or stall. Do not distract your touch, your talk, no eye contact, no photos, give a space, act as protective law, act at our law on both sides. And then it says, not all disabilities are visible. I worked for her with the heartbeat. Instead of the heart, it's a paw print. Ice, keep the dog with handler. It's teal on both sides and then black one in the middle. I bought a second hand, it's not like a lot of brand new. But it's my first piano vest. And he loves it. She's adorable. Maggie also has an all access canine vest. Um, this one I highly recommend using. I bought a shirt from them, and it's a, best, a good vest. I love using it. You can get this handle, I can pull strap. So I can use this like the browning if I need it to like grab her real quick if I was about to get busy or if she was on the other. This is amazing. And it holds up the music too. And I did buy the one with the hill from my MRI. The next vest I have is my other all time favorite. This one is a basic Emma, um, our active belt to wear this. It's a flag. Nice and on patches. This one is, I bought a second hand as well off my Facebook Marketplace. Um, but, FYI, all these vests do not. Um, if you do not have a service animal or a working dog. So I have service dog here. Freedom is in three, red, white, and blue. Service dog, do not pet. Keep your hands off me. I'm not here. I'm not that kind of dog. Service dog, back with the medical symbol, service dog, back to the fire. Service dog on duty, and I hope my service. This is basically my flag being dress. This whole patches are This is also something I love. It has some, some kind of love to it. This one, this is a one tigress vest slash harness. Mm. It's a mesh. Everything is Velcro. I love it. Um, but I love using this. My name's yesterday. She looked adorable. Can 
we can never like, fit over actual It's perfect if you love patches. Once again, if you love patches. The last list is also tapping off of a cape. This is my one target so Apollo 9. Um, the, this can turn into a cape by these right here. If you take just a quick piece and then piece off, which I'm not going to do. The whole entire thing is tap, no crow, which I love. Um, I highly recommend. I will be in short version in the future. The next vest is technically for my cat, but I can't leave him out. Um, the reason why he has a vest is that he is the emotional support animal, and also he is also a therapy cat. But he, he loves everything like his sister. So if he's got a vest, then he knows he's working. So. This is him. This is tiny ass. No, he does not climb up. Just pick. The final vest list is basic Amazon style. I got it actually here, here, down here. So I can put the actual one. It's too basic. That just not really work for me. Um, I can also put a pull strap on here as well. I've done it before. It worked out pretty well. Perfect for summer time, but also good for winter time. Alright. One, two, harnesses. So, like, looking harnesses. So, this is my Beck and Raven harness. Um, it's red, one, and blue themed. And it is pretty sandy because I went to the beach with it and it kind of got wet. And it fell on the sand. So, yeah. Really no adding. This is a CB guide harness. Um, it's got serves for dirt on it. Fleece is red. Webbing is a little blue. And then embroidery is white. Deerings is got the accent of white. That's why. Hints for why the guide handle is light. I will give it one cape that matches us in the future. But for now, it's mm -hmm. for that. Great for some reason. Mm -hmm. I also have a favorite light mobility harness. This is a TSA approved hunt. Um, guard from us. Got a built in cape. Two velcros on each side. But it's also got service log sewn on the each side. This is also by um, Culture Boutique. And it's also got IMA service log. Please don't fit me, I'm working. Um, so, people still get the idea she's a spirit soul. This, that, and this guide table right here. And there's also a mask and a couple other things just like this. And it's got two straps. So, skirt, belt. Um, this is my Bridgeport guide 
I turn a straight front. I love it so much. The only thing is I wish they had it in black at the time. Like at the time I, I ordered it in tan, but I really wanted burgundy. And they did not have burgundy. <laughs> so I ordered the tan and then they did not have tan. So I got the black and that wasn't the size, so they sent me a tan one, which is fine. That's why this is also black. Because I plan to keep this. It's kind of work. But I'm going to have to get a longer one. But it still works. I love it. Best harness ever. Very foldable. Great for travel. Great for planes. This is Maggie's mermaid style mermaid um, boyfriend. Kind of small. Hi, I'm Tyler. This is my mom's account. Hi, Tyler. So this is Maggie. He's my service dog's um, mermaid wife front. Um, I sewn on two patches. So one of them says service dog. That says right here. The other one says PTSC service dog. Um, love it. I gotta make her her center because Maggie's at the end, which is my fault. I thought she was 29 inch, but no. <laughs> but it's fine. I have a mofo fight opening shadow and metal alert. Oh, that is so cute. I hope they're doing well. My name's Samantha. Maggie, come here. Maggie, come. She's out. She's like, no, I don't want to. Come here, Maggie. Come here, baby. Come here. Good girl. I know you're tired. I know. I'm sorry I woke you. This is Maggie. She's my two-year-old multi-purpose service dog. From where she went to now, she's very well tamed. Before she used to be so hyper. And she's very cuddly. I wonder trained her. So she's very cute. Come on, Maggie. Come on up here. Come on. You can come up here. Come on. Good girl. Lay down. Get your cute. But, like I said, I'm finding her shoes everywhere. I found two of three. Um, well, three out of four. Found the other one. So, yeah, these are her shoes that she uses every day. I have a pair of socks for her because she's got dew claws in the front. One. Self explanatory. Oh, I hope you're okay. And that's not very nice. I haven't been through that many times. I can't have my a service all that work in. They're not really accommodating. Um, this is my Bridgeport harness. This is a custom. Um, it's colored burgundy. And I have a tag one here that says, I am a service dog. It says it on both sides. It's a custom bricks and sky harness. So this one was Maggie's very first harness and Maggie likes her bracing harnesses tight. So this is kind of a smaller size than she what her girth is. But in my case, I would do 
I'd like to do smaller work for her due to the fact of it wanting to shift when I brace on it. And when I use her to brace. This is a sin fix and handle. So yeah. I have two. My all time my goal is to raise eight hundred dollars so I can get an actual BLD harness because Bridgeport I really don't I like, but it don't really suit me as much as the BLD would due to the fact that this when I travel I can't use because Maggie gets stuck. Um like the handle can't fall down. So that's the only con I have with Bridgeport. But I love to have burgundy on her or black or something. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> FYI, you're my now oh. you're my video. Haha. Uh -huh. I love you. You okay? Okay. Just checking. That's my boyfriend. And the last harness, I have a pair cord or the harness. This is the harness I was um, telling you guys about. Um. So it fits Maggie. It's just this area right here, which is the area that connects to the guide. This area is a little bit too long for Maggie. So this like how much is she needs off. So my cousin, when she comes down, she's going to take this harness and fix it for me. Since it was my phone, she's not going to charge me. And she loves it. I love it on Maggie. It's also TSA approved. Um, highly, highly recommend TSA approved gear for your service dog due to the fact, unless you want for your dog to go off. I don't like it. I, yes, they're still going to have to um, check the dog, but at least your dog won't go off. Unless it's your dog's like a leather or metal on the collar or a knee collar or something like that. Still highly recommend. And it's very helpful too. Great to travel. Alright. On to the last couple of things. Um, which is... Patches and leash wraps. Oh, and by the way, guys, Les, yes, I do have a service dog ID for Maggie. But like I said in the past and now, it is only for emergency cases in case I had passed out or something. But that is somewhere. I do not know where it is. But it's not like a registry ID or anything like that. It's just a custom one, like a tag, basically. So, this is my box for patches for my cat and my dog. So, you will see some emotional support for patches, animal patches, but that is for my cat. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off actually getting rid of those emotional support animals. So, you guys can see, this is one of my cat's emotional support animal patches. Um, it's embroidered, it's an where he's an emotional support animal. Um, I have my old mini indicator for, for like, travel. Uh, emotional support. Emotional support. Uh, 
Yay. I love that. I love it, but I also hate it. I hope you're okay. I love when Maggie does that to me. No, I don't. Emotional support. Emotional support. That should be all of them. For my cat. All right, on to serve self items. I have this one that says partner in crime. Oh, well, I hope uh, you can manage it. I have this one that says, I'm the beat to her heart with the heartbeat logo and a dog in the middle. I have this one that says, no cute. I have this one that says service dog, do not separate dog from handler. I have a basic service dog, reflective one. I have another basic service dog one. I do have a service dog in training, do not touch. I have another one that says PTSD service dog. I have medical alert service dog with a heart, the heartbeat symbol with heart. I have this one. Maggie's had a while, and if you can definitely go back to my last video. It's way, way in the back. This is from Wish. Um, this one says service dog. If handler is down, do not separate us. Do not call number one and listen. Here, give us space. Best patch ever, and I I'm expecting to be this big. I have multi-purpose service dog on duty, service dog do not pet, service dog, I have this one that says caution wiggle butt on duty, I have this one that says service dog working do not touch. I have another one that says service dog. This one came with my all access canine nice, and pack nice vest. This is another one that came with my all access canine vest. Um, there's two of these and two of these, but I can't really put them together. Oh, back to my cat. Emotional support. Sorry, I found that one. So this one says act is required service dog. With the medical symbol. This is another one. Service dog do not pet. This one came with the set. With this. Service dog. I do have a lot of patches. Don't worry. Hope you like patches. Um, this one says, not all disabilities are visible with the symbol, medical symbols. PTSD working dog. PTSD does not mean pet the service dog. I don't fucking dare to, don't you fucking dare touch the service dog with hand symbol. I have a military flag. This looks my boyfriend's like combat. PTSD service dog do not distract. Access of required service dog. Medical symbol. That's the other one. We are a team forever. Service dog do not pet. Handler has PTSD. Give us space. Love that patch. Service dog. This one came with the blue um, mesh vest that I showed no a couple a long time. Um trying to keep the mill on three ones last. I have two one tigers patches like this. Because they came with the one tigers vest. 
I don't really use them, but I keep them because it's what my daughter's best. This one was a gift. Um, you make my heart race. Never mind pops, because I do have pops. And pops means postural orthopedic cardiac syndrome. Um, in case of the emergency, do not separate dog from. In case of emergency, do not separate from handler. Medical info inside pocket. Maggie is also a stress and anxiety response service dog, so I do have that with the medical symbol. I don't um, bite, but my handler does. I do bite. Medical alerts are something not strict with the medical symbols. This one I love a lot. Um, it says, do not separate, do not distract. My mom's not the safety depend on your respect. Saving her life one day at a time. This is an ADA low card um, patch. Where I have an ADA low card and it came to this game with my one tiger slab vest. Service dog alert. Service dog. This one came with my Alasis K9 um, collar, Velcro collar. I'm trying to keep the traps last. Um, this one is a flawed uh, um, patch. It says asthma. I'm supposed to say asthma alert service dog. Uh, asthma alert dog with the medical symbol. Service dog in training. Service dog. Three dollars kisses. Service dog Halloween edition. Um, this one says, no, you may not pet on me while I'm working. I know you want to, but you can't. Just let it go. Asthma service dog. Service dog and training do not touch. Distracting service dog. Um, distracting service dog is dangerous. Maggie's name. United U.S. Army, Barnhill, um, I don't pet you while you're working, a little iron side. This one is for my cat's uh, therapy cat vest when I make it. I'm friendly, please pet me. My brain and glitches, it's okay. Boys, boys want to touch my dog, but I'm not a strawberry shortcake. I'm a service dog. Service dog. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. Stay back. Medical alert. You're not distracted. Biggest patch I've ever had. Service dog. I think I'll have this canine um, vest came with. This one's one of my boyfriend's favorites and mine. Service dogs are like boobs. It's rude to stare, touch, or photograph without consent. Oh. And on this, service dog and training do not pet. If I get paid every time I hear urban people's, I heard people say doggy, I it would be a millionaire. It's rude to stare. We're not here for entertainment. Oh, can I pet your? No. Please stay back and give us space. Do you think people listen to in our patches? No. Nobody don't. Our, 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 our 
can just out here and then Oh, and I have another one. PTSD does not mean pet the service dog with pet the cross step. So, 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 those are all my service off pages. Um, these are my service off leash wraps. Um, working keep back. This is by, and it says on both sides, by patient from love. Love this. So much. Works perfectly. I have this one that says service dog. And on the back, I actually wrote, I'm working for her. I'm working for her. Nobody else. What a perfect service dog. Do not distract. This is the other all working um, leech wrap. This is signed by K9 Friendly. I got a second hand with the other one. Medical Alert K9. And it's on both sides. Yeah. I hate when people don't do that. Especially fake in service now. Service dog in training, do not distract. And it says on both sides. Once again, Maggie will probably use this on Saturday. It's my patient for love. Love her work. And I love also in her early traps. Um, it's got a little pocket for like a poop bag or something. I don't really use it. Except for like to put 88 ball cards. I do have those. I had a ton of those. Um, this one is just a really good one. I love. Thank you. But I'm very taken. This one is, it says stay back. Um, it's one of my favorite. Favorite leash wraps um, that actually people listen to. Surprisingly, this is the only leash wrap that people listen to. And I pretty much, when I do use a leash or a guide handle, I try to use this. I would love to be your friend, Tyler. Um. Hook me up. I don't know if you have TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, but hook me up. And the very last thing um, I have is this service stop one that started falling apart, which is fine. But this says service dog and it's blue and white, um, red, white, and blue, basically. This is basically a leash wrap that I use, um, for my red, white, and blue set. Um, Maggie does have a crate. She does have beds. Um, she does have everything. But it's something to help. Hi. Oh, hi, Tommy. So, Tommy is this cat. This is my emotional support animal. He's one of my favorites. Um, he's kind of one reason why I got into having a service dog. Um, because, yes, he does help me. But he noticed, um, technically, if there was somebody calling the service cat in the U.S., he would be. Um, he knows how to do like hand pressure therapy, DPT. He knows how to do um, alerts. But he's mainly like an in-home service animal if I consider it, basically. I just wish that there was something against our service animals. Like, service cats in the US. Yeah. Really do. US, help me. I wanted to get that in. But that's basically everything. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, especially you, Tyler, let me know. I may decide, I'm thinking about maybe showing off one piece of gear on Maggie. Um, I don't know if you're looking for any gear particular, Tyler, but I do make gear for other people as well. Um, I'm only doing capes and vests right now with no pockets until I get better. But like I said, um, and I only charge like $25 plus shipping. Not bad. Um, it's very lightweight gear, really. Like, you can tell. It's very light, lightweight. I have one here that's got the padding. Um, that a lady needs to pay for. But, I will show you that real quick. This one has padding. And, so, um, ribbon, like, the last one's got ribbing. And, inside it's got padding. So, like, it's a lot of microfiber padding. And, it's got a lot of place for Velcro, not patches. So, this is another one that I've made. And, yeah. Well, this is like a cape. Um, these capes attach to your bridge board. So, like, for example, this one is also made for a bridge board. Um... So basically, the Bridgeport D rings right here. It's custom made to fit a standard Bridgeport harness or any harness really. And what it does, it, it attaches to your Bridgeport, and it's on here. And this goes around your dog. So with all of that, you're still able to label your dog as a service dog. But also have your bridge board. And if you don't want padding, like this one, then this is a lightweight one. This one's made for a bridge board as well. Same thing, it's got clips and attaches like a leash. So that's why I always try to help them, help people with like gear and need. Because some people don't know about like capes um, that attach to your harness. But like I said, I do make them. Um, once again, like. Hi, is he okay? Alright, keep me updated. Um, let me know if he regains consciousness. If not, um, call 911 or something like that if he gets too bad, okay? I'm glad Sunshine alerted. Thank God. I'm glad that he has them. But like I said, message me or comment on this um, video if I, I end it when he wakes up. Um, like I said, I'm here. I know what he's going through because I do pass out as well. I have pass out spells as well. So like, like I said, I know what he's going through. And I'm glad that he has somebody to help you through, like, to help them through this.
but I'm going to end the live here um, and clean up. But like I said, I'm here to help and stuff like that if you need it. I don't think there's anything else. All right. Bye, guys.